All right, the guys are mowing the uh, retention pond area back there, so I guess that means it's time for me to mow my backyard. Wah, wah. Are you okay? He crawled under the bed because he's scared of the lawnmower guys. Is it too loud for you? You don't want me to tell the internet that you're afraid? Okay, I won't. It's our secret. Are you scared? Give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, get the camera. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna put those palm fronds in a bag. But the hard part is that they're big, so I have to kind of cut them up before I put them in a bag, which isn't gonna be fun because they have thorns on them. I'm gonna take you guys out there to do this yard work with this crazy cutting tool. Woo, it's gonna be like a, a action vlog. But um, I'm a little bit scared because the last time that I took you guys out there with me, I had to get a new camera, so. Those are the first two bags of the palm fronds. Um, you know, if you guys are thinking, hey, I love palm trees, yay, I'm gonna put them in my yard. Maybe don't, because they're kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Once you groom them, then you have to get rid of the palm fronds and you can't burn them because they're too dry and then your dogs pee on them and they smell bad and then you have to touch them. So I'd, I'd say don't. That's what I have left. Probably be two more bags. It's kind of a lot. And then I might wait and do that a different day. Oh my goodness, it is so hot. I turned the air off because I was curious to see exactly how hot it was. And it's only 79 degrees, but it's hot. <laughs> So yeah, five bags of palm fronds, and now I'm just working on the pokey stick things. I'll show you, they're super sharp. So I just realized after all that hard work, I still have to mow the yard. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh my goodness, I'm halfway done. I feel like I'm gonna die. I mowed the front yard. Well, part of the front yard. I had to stop because my lawnmower ran out of gas and then when I tried to put gas in the lawnmower, I couldn't get it to start. And I'm like really beat, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow. The dogs were just so curious as to what I was doing out here and why they couldn't come out while I was mowing the lawn. Oh my god, what do I do? I don't even know how he got in here. He must have gotten in when I let the dogs out. Oh my god, it's huge. Go outside, I opened the door for you. Watch another one will come in. I'm all geared up. I got on my long sleeves, my head protection, and my eye protection so that I can try to get this fun little dragonfly out of my house. I'm pretty sure they sting. So that's why I have on this crazy outfit. I think I'm just making him mad. Get out. Get out. Oh God, please leave. Did he leave? Nope, he's still up there. Oh Jesus, I scared him. A Mr. Dragonfly is still in the house like an hour and a half later. Yay, <laughs> I can't get him out. All right, so I got on the ottoman, grabbed the broom, pushed him from here to over there somewhere, and the only thing I've been successful in is making a huge mess. I did it, all it took was this broom, this ottoman, I had to literally smush him against the window, get him to stick to the broom, which I probably hurt him a little bit, and I had to then throw him outside. <laughs> Although I did just realize that I let in probably 30 bugs in the process of all of this, so Neat, <laughs> uh, such a fail. I meant to show you guys how I made this chicken and I totally just like got in the zone and made it and didn't tell you guys how I made it. So uh, I'll give you like a little recap. So basically what I do to make this a little bit easier and a little less cleanup is I uh, use a freezer bag. I diced up, I would say probably five cloves of garlic. Diced up the chicken, I just did probably about maybe like two tablespoons of honey and like a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. I, we were using low sodium soy sauce because it's a little bit better for you. And then I just put it in the bag and I just do one of these and like mix it all up. And then I put it in the fridge for like three hours and then I cook it in a pan and I'll show you guys that as soon as it's done marinating. All right, this is that chicken I was telling you guys about and I have it on medium high heat. I'm just gonna let it kind of cook and then this will create like a, um, almost like a glaze. 
I'll show you. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, you know, just watching the Hunger Games and making dinner. Tim came home. Uh, remember the hat that we shot the other day? What? It's right there. Right? Oh, there it is. Right there. <laughs> So that hat, there's a whole story behind it where um, Rich from England gave the hat to Daryl. Daryl doesn't like the hat, and so they make fun of the hat. And so Daryl uploaded his video. You guys should check it out. We'll leave the link in the description below. Um, but then you'll get the full story of the hat. So it was really funny. Good job, Daryl. I'm not wearing any clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I had it like, like framed up just right where you couldn't tell. It looked like your t-shirt was just not in frame. But then it was like this. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I have this terrible habit of drinking coffee when I get back from work because I wake up too early and I'm tired. Uh, so I drink coffee and I drink hot coffee, but it's already hot outside. So I'm just like drinking hot liquid and then sweating mm -hmm. a lot. So I take off all my clothes. That's <laughs> Who doesn't do that? And that's the story of nudity. Got a story of a hat, story of a naked man, perfect vlog. I forgot to show you guys. Tim put the video on the laptop so I could edit in bed and watch The Hunger Games. What are you doing? You gotta hurry up and get in here because he's excited. He saw me standing next to his... his oh, his look, he hates the camera. Tank. Look, look, look. Did you see that? What is, he doesn't seem to be hungry. He seems very upset. Yeah, he's... Did you see? Look at him. He's oh, putting out his things. Best. He's trying to show you. He's like, hey, I'm not one to be reckoned with. Well, he <laughs> ate all four of those super fast. Yeah, I told you, he's kind of a fatty. Oh, he like made some sort of like a something on the surface there. There was a thing that we saw that was like, put a log so it can, so they can make bubble nests or something. Oh. And I think that's what he's doing. A bubble nest? What's yeah. in it? A bubble? That's so that he can put his, like, the female's eggs in there if we had a female, then they'd make bajillion babies. I thought they didn't like each other. That's the they whole thing. They don't like males. Oh. They want to do it with the females. Well, check on wild fish. Certainly are a YouTube family, aren't we? Jen's in here and she's exporting today's vlog all while in the other, brushing her teeth, all while in my other room here in the office. I am exporting a full out new versus pro video, another new versus pro in screen flow, and then another one in screen flow. That, my friends, is four videos exporting. What are you guys doing? I didn't really leave when we checked the mail. And we got a package from England because Jen left a hairband over there. My fascinator. Actually, I wore this for Eng when we were um, American night. Like, we were British, they were American. And they made fun of it. So I guess for British people don't really wear these. <laughs> but, but Jen does. I do. I left it over there, so Tracy mailed it over. Thank you, Tracy. You're awesome. I really appreciate it because I got this in Ireland when we got married. And we were so amazed at their ice bags, which we will show you in just a moment, because they sent up two boxes full over. These things are amazing. And so I'll show you guys filling one up right now, and then we'll put it in the freezer, and you'll we'll be amazed that England has this technology, and we don't. Hip, hip. Hip, <laughs> hip, ice cubes for everyone. Cheerio. This is what the bag looks like. It's a bag. There's like a little like one-way valve up here, so what you do, you take this, stick it on the faucet, just like a water balloon. You can't see. All right, all right, there, it's on the faucet, just like a water balloon. Okay. Turn on the water. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> all right, now it's really full. Okay, I turned Ooh. it over to seal it. And now we just take this whole thing and we put it in the freezer. We don't actually have an ice tray, like an ice maker, so this is perfect. There, it goes in the freezer just like so. Then we come back after we go grocery shopping and hopefully it'll be frozen. Now we play the waiting game. It's like one gigantic apple core. Look at that. You get some watermelons and then you slice it up with this giant you apple core thing. You have to use like your entire body strength. Like how would you? Right? That would be so hard. That's what I said. But that's what she said. <laughs> Why would you buy uh, open candy? We bought a bottle of wine and now we're going to put it in the wine chiller. You guys oh. are with me here on the first time that we're going to plug it in. Yeah. All right. I'm not quite sure where they're expecting me to plug this thing in, but they gave me quite a bit of cord. <laughs> so, yay, but a little teeny tiny one here. All right, let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, nothing happened. All right, let's uh, power on. All right, let me try holding it. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, fancy. I can't read any of that stuff. Oh, it's doing its thing. I got to put it in there. All right, then we put the lid on. 
Yeah. It says that it's at 80 right now, and it's gonna cool it down to 64. Hopefully it beeps or something when it does it. Check it out, it's already at 77. Just a few more degrees to go, and we'll have some wonderful red wine. Who knew red wine had to be 64 degrees? It wasn't recording that whole time that I was just talking. I just recorded like a super long thing and it didn't record any of it. I thought it recorded, but I must've hit the button. So upon further review, this wine chiller has like 200 different options that you can do. So we put in the country, which was Argentina. And then we put in the, um, it's a red blend, but it's primarily a Malbec. So we did that and it's gotta be 58 degrees. So it actually has to be colder. So we have to wait a little bit longer now. So we gave up on the wine chiller. It was taking like, a couple of hours. It would have just been easier to put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Would have gotten colder faster. Eh. I don't know what the point of it is. Maybe you take it out of the refrigerator and put it in there so it just like stays cool? No. Seems like a waste to me. But Jen showed me the pilot episode of this show called Defiance. Looks pretty cool. Pretty alright. You guys should check it out. It's like a sci-fi original series. Alien world. So it's actually not an alien world. It's Earth that's been terraformed to an alien world. Complex, you gotta watch it. See you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.